Hello BookTube. I want to do a quick um, Preptober update. So I got the, so I've had in my previous video, I had the project um, set up. I know like what I want to do. And I've been since then working on um, character uh, studies, basically like character sheets and information about the character so I can get a bit more idea for how they fit into the plot and how they sort of affect, they will affect the plot. I've also done a quick plot outline so I know pretty much what I want to happen. And I'm now working on a bit more in depth. I have the first three chapters, all of Act 1, largely figured out. I'm working right now on sort of the extended Act 2, which will encompass what I'm foreseeing as Act Parts 2, 3, and 4, before we get to the um, final Act, Part 5. So everything's going pretty good. I like where I'm going. I have been flirting more with um, shifting the setting from a secondary world, which is a bit more sword and sorcery type. Although parts of me kind of want to add a bit of a science fantasy element, sort of, um, if you've ever seen like um, the He-Man series or She-Ra, I'm really very interested in sort of combining um, ancient or medieval with more technological that you see with um, Eternia and Etheria and other similar settings like that. I think um, the Final Fantasy game series, video game series has that too. Or if I should shift it into a more contemporary or urban fantasy setting, which is a fantasy set in the real world, just with magic being real and I do have I've ha wanted to, to write an urban fantasy series dealing with um, a certain magical tradition for some years and in a way some of what I want to do with the uh, project of wanting to write for NaNoWriMo this year does have elements in common with the urban fantasy set, magic heavy fantasy I want to do. So I'm kind of, I'm so toying with it. Um, and it would set the setting that I'm going to use for this project aside so I can use it for something else. I do also want to write a fantasy series dealing with um, gods and this setting really kind of works for that too. So I, I haven't quite decided. Even though I could just start it on like the secondary world sword and sorcery type and then if I'm like, if I decide eventually either after the 50,000 words that this really would work better with a contemporary <laughs> setting. I could easily do that. I mean, all I have to do is change names and change locations and add you know, a bit more contemporary stuff to it. And probably wouldn't be too hard of a transition. So I don't know. But then again, I could also do like basically another idea I had, I've had a few other variations on the, what I call the God Project idea. So I'm not entirely sure quite what I wanted to do eventually, but I think I really need to just focus on um, the current project and not get bogged down with other projects I want to do. So anyway, that's about it I think on the Preptober update. Um, I guess maybe 
I've gotten the main character, um, his character study done up. I've gotten the main antagonist, the sidekick who I want to do a bit more on. Uh, I'm not entirely happy with his because I want there to be an initial conflict between Zazaril and Ahir, the sidekick, initially. That they're not going to like each other when they first meet. They're going to clash. And as the part two kind of progresses, they kind of work out their issues, at least temporarily. I've also gotten the one of, I guess you can call it a supporting character, one of Zazero's love interests or possible love interests, his character somewhat worked on. I'm not terribly happy with what I've gotten for him. I need to really, so I need to rework that one. Definitely, I need to rework that one. And I'm wanting to go work on the, some of the secondary or supporting antagonists and uh, the, probably who I might set up as the main love interest. I don't know. I think I need to kind of work on that and then continue on with the um, plotting for part two and maybe continue on with part three and part four uh, tonight and this weekend. No. Yeah, I think that's my plan. Hopefully I don't get distracted, which is always my problem. So I think that's all I've got for now, BookTube. Thank you. Talk to you soon. And AuthorTube. I keep forgetting AuthorTube. Sorry about that.